of the Scottish Gas Scottish Cup, something that hasn't happened since the 2000 edition of the competition. Undoubtedly the tie of the round, and the holders are in Paisley looking to continue their defence of their title, but the hosts will be fancying a famous afternoon. Well, Celtic got off to a flying start last month here in the league, but it's all about the Scottish Cup this afternoon at the Smyser Stadium, a place in the last eight of the competition. There's probably just that level of performance that Moore is expected to make games more comfortable, and they're certainly not getting any degree of comfort here. And Bernabe slips, Jameson will take it away from him reactions from Scales to stop that from going to Mandron but Bacchus now to Kilty Ralston steps in for Celtic what a ball that is wonderful pass Palma motoring forward only Ida in the middle but Kyogo now arriving Kyogo strikes it the instincts of the Japanese striker it's just a slight deflection off of Charles Dunn I think in front of Zach Hemmings sees the ball gets cut back, you'll perhaps see it in this angle. There it is. The ball was going to drift away. I don't think any of the St. Lennon players were going to be able to get on the end of it. Point months again. Better one into Gogic. You might get the second effort. Rattles the crossbar. Boyd months then with the strike. Guamono. Little push from Kyogo, but he will continue and looks to. Looking for Ida. Dunn held him off, but now O'Reilly looks to refine Ida. O'Reilly now on the edge. Only Buomono to step in and break up the pass. Well, initially, when that ball went up to Ida, he didn't win it, but he put enough pressure on the St Mirren defence that they weren't able to get a clean header on it. Bernabe, Ida, back to goal, looks to set up Kyogo, and now Maida! And it's Hemming that hangs on, but the Celtic turn to break here with Palma to take on Buomono. Palma again, and he goes down, and it's going to be a yellow card for the Honduran. David Dickinson quick to make the call, and he thought Palma was looking for the penalty there. Yeah, well, I think he, he is looking for it. Don't need a grandish yellow card. I'll see this again. Bomono defends it really well. Yeah, he flings himself up in the deck, uh, up in the air. It's absolutely spot on from the referee David Dickinson there. St. Mirren opportunities. So we're about to move into additional time, of which there will be one minute to come at the end of this half. Goggett's challenging, goes for the spectacular. And Joe Hart called into action to deny Alex Gogic what could have been some goal from the city. That was unfortunate. I think that could easily have been a play on there, Rodic. Clever from Maeda. Ralston looks early for Adam Ida. Then he slides it just wide of target. Brendan Rodgers saying in the week that yes, Celtic must win, but they must win with style. Looking to add some gloss to the scoreline to make this secure. It's Palma, and coming in at the back post, and turned in. It was O'Reilly's effort initially. Samiran survived that, but then tapped home for number two. Dyson Maeda. There's Maeda on the spot to be able to knock it into the back of the net. Great movement there from O'Reilly to come round the back. Bernabe does well, and again, and then goes into the challenge on Marcus Fraser, who is down and clutching his ankle. Well, the thing is, he's going to get booked here, but... Here's Boyd Munts, can only find Kyogo now. Bacchus, and slipped through the body, he's not the power behind it to find a way past Joe Hart. I thought he could have done something a bit quicker, tried to go and take Bernabe on, drive towards the box, make something happen, he just allowed himself to be 
ushered towards the corner flag and, and get doubled up on. Brown. McGregor losing the battle. Mandron. Mandron strikes it, got plenty power behind it, but to the final two minutes now, and McGregor for Bernabe. Now Yang to run at Brown. Yang goes down the outside. Hemming palms it out and to a friendly shirt and, and on from O'Reilly. Olusanya chasing back along with Ralston, but it's the Celtic man who has it now. Options in the middle, Nicholas Kuhn. And then O'Reilly and Bernardo. And it's Hemming. Seen it out without too many scares. Submitted and certainly showed well, but it is the holders who march on. Brendan Rodgers continues his 100% record in the Scottish Cup.